Welcome ladies and gentlemen to an Age of Empires 4 video and today we're doing an arena fast castle build order for the Chinese. Now this is a really strong build order especially if you want to contest the Red X. You know it's quite good if you're up against the HRE and you want to kind of deny the Red X as much as you can. And so yeah, arena guys is a map where you have stone walls around your base. And just in case you're not aware it's going to be quite a popular map I think. It's a kind of a map that's been around in Age of Empires 2 for a very long time. So I suspect it'll be pretty popular for Age of Empires 4. Now with this build order, you start off with the first six villagers going to build a mill at the berries, but they're actually going to take the sheep. The first unit that you queue up in your town centre is going to be an imperial official, and that imperial official will supervise the mill. You take your scout to find as many sheep as possible on the map, and the first villager that comes out of the town centre will be going to build a house, and then a lumber camp at the wood line. You'll be getting a total of three villagers to go to wood, so that's six on food, and then three to wood. The aim of the build order is to get up to a decent sort of timing for the fast castle and then to be able to build a stable and monastery to get some lances on the map and also to be able to get the relics. In terms of micro for this build order it's important to take the imperial official to collect the tax at the mill and because the capacity of the imperial official at the moment is 40 we're going to wait until we get about 40 gold in the mill collected. Okay so now that we've got three villagers to wood we're going to send the next four villagers to food to make ten in total. We're slowly gathering sheep and we will bring those sheep back to the mill and another thing I tend to do is actually push the deer that's in the arena and I mean it's a bit of a judgment call you know you might want to actually contest more of the sheep um, but I actually quite like to get the deer close to the mill and prioritize the hunt because the food gathering rate for the hunt is a lot faster than the sheep and so we want to get up to the next stage as soon as possible by doing that. As you can see we just picked up 40 gold and we're going to go back to supervise the mill and now that we've got a decent number of sheep here at the mill we can actually start to push the deer. If you've struggled to get that many sheep um, and you still want to contest the sheep, that's also very much possible. It doesn't really change the build order that much, it just kind of delays things a little bit, but not it's not sort of earth-shattering differences here we're talking about. So we're going to push the deer, they can be a bit pesky in Age of Empires 4, but we're going to get there slowly but surely. Also, also just worth noticing that um, if you have access to my PDF build orders, this will be on the updated version and if you don't have access to them and you'd like to do check out the video description have some information about how you can grab hold of them and um, yeah here we are gonna have the deer pushed in it's kind of been a bit pesky here uh, but we will get them in slowly but surely okay so now they've got 10 villagers on food we're gonna send the next five villagers to gold and of course we build a mining camp at the gold there now it's actually worth pushing deer two at a time because it does take a bit of time for the deer to kind of reset there. So you've actually have got enough time to push two at a time usually. Okay, right, we're going to prioritize the deer meat as well. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to actually hit the deer on the, um, you know, the the click boxes but I think that's probably because this is done on the preview update patch um, the public update preview rather and so it's kind of should be something that's ironed out we're also going to need to build a house and we're going to use a villager from wood to do that we do another pickup of gold and once you do hit five villagers on gold we're not there just yet but once you do hit five villagers on gold we're going to get an imperial official to supervise the gold mine, a new one that is from the town centre. As you can see we just clicked it there to uh, come out of the town centre. Once you do have enough food and gold to get up to the next stage, we will take one villager off of wood to build the Imperial Academy. Okay there we have it, we're gonna actually start to build the Imperial Academy just by using one villager from wood. Now that we've pushed the deer by the way with the scout, you definitely want to take the scout back out there because you want to find as many relics as you can 
uh, ideally, because obviously that's what we're going to be contesting. Okay, now they've got the second Imperial official to supervise the gold mine. New villagers from the town centre will go to the deer. It's worth noting at this point that because you want to get up to the castle age using 8 villagers from food, it's worth just control grouping 8 villagers on the deer there, um, just to get ready, so that once you do have enough resources to get up to the castle age, you can just quickly toggle them and build the astronomical clock tower. You want to do as many gold drop-offs as you can of tax, just to make sure you get up to the 600 gold target um, you know, as soon as you can. And we're going to do the gold as well at the gold mine, don't forget that. And we're up to sort of almost six and a half minutes, going to be getting up to the feudal age. As you can see, we just control grouped our eight villages on food to get ready to go up to the next stage with the next landmark. And uh, there we are, we'll get up to the feudal age. We will send that villager building the Imperial Academy back to wood. And we do need just a little bit more food, a little bit more gold, and we're soon to be able to click up and get to the next stage. Do a couple more drop-offs with the Imperial official, and we will be looking good to go. Okay, we're going to use those um, villagers from the food to build the astronomical clock tower. And then we're going to be actually building a stable using a villager from wood. And uh, then we'll be able to train some lancers when we're in the next stage. We're also going to build a house with a villager on wood. And we might as well build the stable close to the Imperial Academy. New villagers will still be coming out to food. And that pretty much stays the same until we think about getting the second town center. We actually want to focus on military in terms of lances and uh, look to get the relics. And just because obviously that's our priority here. And then once you've got that all sorted out, you can actually think about getting villagers on stone and wood in order to get a secondary town center. And you probably have enough food and gold anyway, just because of the eco balance here to be able to get the Song Dynasty. So as you can see, we're going to build the monastery using all of the villagers on wood. We want to rush that down. And uh, yeah, we're going to queue up some lances. We're just force dropping off here just to be able to afford the uh, the units. And we're actually going to supervise these production builders. We're going to supervise the um, the monastery and we're also going to look to supervise the stable. When I get these units out there as soon as possible, we're at about eight and a half minutes and we're going to start grabbing those relics. So yeah, guys, that's the build order in a nutshell. Try and get as many relics as you can and uh, you know get some map control with the lancers. Protect your um, scholars, your monks to be able to get the relics and uh, once you do you can then start to move the villagers from gold to stone and also move villagers from food to wood and this is because of course to get the second and third town center you'll need stone and wood so guys that's your build order tutorial for today hope you did enjoy this video and if you did do give it a thumbs up and hopefully i shall see you on some new build orders for arena take care and see you next time